Sorry. Compose. <laughs> we are second year uh, physics students at the University of Portsmouth and we're here just to enlighten you with what a degree in physics is like and what a student life is like yeah. around campus. Yeah, so um, our course for our university has had 100% student satisfaction for the last three years. I want to say I'll three years. We'll say we'll say two just to be just to be sure just to be on the safe side. Uh, we just got sort of a few questions um, that people have asked been asking us, and uh, we thought we'd make it a video and share it with everyone because uh, you know the results day is around the corner. Around the corner. Yeah. Have so fun. a massive FAQ is usually oh I've got bad A level results can I still do a physics degree? Yeah. Uh, to put it, well, <laughs> we did great at that level, didn't we? Uh, we got B in maths. Both of us, yeah. Yeah, a C in an art subject. I did media studies and uh, Suki did art. And I, and a D in physics. Both of us got a D in physics A level. And we still got accepted into this uni. Um, I was first choice and I still got accepted. Uh, this was my second choice. I still got accepted, but I had to go through Clarion because my first choice was Cardiff. Um, and I was going to be part of a preliminary year, and I didn't really yeah. want that. <laughs> so you can still do a physics degree just by getting bad grades. Um, another question is, do you need further maths to do a physics degree? Mm. No, because I did not do further maths. No, I didn't either. And um, I did a lot of people in our class. Um, how many hours of lectures do you get a week? 18? All, all together we get 18 hours of yeah. like, well, all together as in like lectures, labs, um, and tutorial. Right, tutorial. Also, how long are your lectures slash labs? So, our labs were three hours long, um, but you don't, it's only one session a week that we had labs, but you didn't have to be there for the full three hours. So, you'll mm. be given an experiment to do with a lab partner who you choose at the beginning. Um, if you finish it, you can just leave straight away. That's it. So, um, some of the experiments will last you four or three hours, but some of them I've completed in half an hour. And most of them, yeah, most of them will just be like half an hour and you're done. Yeah. Uh, unless you have absolutely no idea what you're doing. Yeah. Um, Laser. Oh boy. <laughs> that was a, that was an experiment. Um, there was this one experiment where you had to bounce. Well, you had to accurately. <laughs> <laughs> you say accurately. Deflect some um, laser through this pinhole into a receiver. Yeah, you were trying to... And then you had to bounce to... that into a, um, a mirror, and then there was a... Um, there was another detector was or something. Some turny thing. <laughs> oh no, there was a rotating mirror. And then, and then it, you were essentially to trying to... You were trying to measure the speed of light. And that had to bounce back into like a microscope thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Crap. And then you weren't allowed to look into it because obviously it's a laser. But then. <laughs> oh, I sure looked into it. Um, my lecture almost looked <laughs> into it. And then no, no one completed this task. It's okay. Even even like the. I got something like three three million. Mine just I just lost the image of the laser. Wow. And then the um, Melvin tried and Eshmael tried to help me and they couldn't do it either. So I spent four <laughs> three hours and got no results. But it's okay. It's great. Yeah. Um, um, timetables. What are your timetables like? Uh, well, we had we had first time only. We only had two nine a.m. lectures. Yeah. Was it really? Yeah. Yeah. And then, because I remember, I got angry because in second term I had three. Oh yeah. <laughs> Um, the lectures could start as early as 9am and it could end as late as 6 or 7, but you, you're not in the full 9-6. No, there's the breaks in between. Every hour. Some days um, I only had like two hours of lectures, I think. Yeah, there was one where we just had one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, but you get a lot of time off, so like morning lions. Yeah, we like had that. we had Wednesdays with no lectures, um, in both terms. Part yeah. we're not gonna have that next year. No. Um, another question was, do you have any free time? Definitely. Obviously, you're meant to do like independent work. 
Oh, you're, you're meant to when you don't to, do like, it. I think they allocate amount of like how many hours you should do per hours of lectures. Isn't it like two? Altogether, you're meant to have done 40 hours of work a week. Yeah, um, extra work. Yeah, so you've got 18 hours of lectures, and on top of that, you've got to do independent work, but no one does that, sorry. <laughs> coursework, um, we have two types of coursework, I guess. Um, one is Mastering Physics, which is this right. online test thing, thing where you've just got maths questions. I think there's some, some colleges and sixth forms use it. Oh, do they? I think. But it's just, you just do coursework, it's just like maths questions online, and then you answer it online, and then there's a, another one where you get given a question sheet, you just write on paper and hand it in at the office. Or um, with the essay coursework, sometimes you've got to put it through this thing, uh, you can upload it online, and it gets put through this thing called Turn It In, which will check your percentage of plagiarism. plagiarism. Um, don't get above like twenty percent. So you can't copy and paste on Wikipedia because they will check it. They don't do it for everything, but they'll do it for like essays and we yeah, do it for comp computation. Yeah, and coding. Yeah. Well, that's another thing. Um, I think like ninety percent of our class did not know how to code. I came in without knowing anything about coding. Um, size of your classes. For the whole year, we started off with about sixty students and then slowly obviously first term a lot of people dropped out and down to about 40 so yeah by the end of the year we had about 40 students which sounds small but i think that's a good thing that's an advantage yeah and then next year potentially people will be having to reset maybe yeah um, things like that so we're probably going to have less um which, which I think they're probably like smaller is better. Yeah, if you have a smaller class, it's more concentrated, so you get more attention from your lecturer mm. if you want it. What's the difference between the bachelor and the masters? Well, your 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 degree finishes with the BSc in the third year, and you'll have BSc after your name. With an MPhys, it's four years, and you do a final project with in your fourth year and all your third year so your third year is just extra learning um, and then you do a final project in a group i believe it's in mm -hmm. no in third year you have a group project so your final year your, will be your dissertation yeah. thing but um what a lot of people get confused with is if you do if you choose the undergraduate masters you only come out with a master's degree you won't get a bachelor's and a master's it's just an integrated undergraduate master's degree. So you'll have, you'll still have, they'll be recognised as being, having done four years and the equivalent to a BSc and an MPhys. But it's just, you just have MPhys after your yeah. name. You won't get a bachelor's and an MPhys. Just, yeah. just the master's. Yeah. Um, thanks for watching our video. We hope you all the best with your results and I hope this video was useful to some of you. Yeah. Um, or wanting, if you wanted to know about doing physics at our university. Or physics in general. Um, yeah. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Oh. So cringy, mate. It's going to be unbelievably cringe.